All right guys, welcome back to the Frugal Homestead. So today I wanted to bring you another video involving one of my favorite things to cook with, protein powder. Now, today's gonna be a little different because I am really getting into intermittent fasting. I really am. I mean, I'm going like almost all day now and it, it's rather comfortable, but yet at the same time, I know that I need to be starting off my day with a little more protein content and I also want something that I'm going to enjoy. All right. Something I can drink that's going to be filling, but yet I'm going to enjoy it. Now, another part of the intermittent fasting that I've been doing, which is not really part of it. You're not really supposed to add in too much stuff other than just black coffee. I've been adding in stuff to iced coffee and it's been working out really well for me honestly but combining the things that I need in the morning I came up with this little recipe so what we're gonna be looking at is a 150 calorie drink that's gonna give you somewhere between 18 and 20 grams of protein depending upon what kind of protein powder you use and of course your calories may be different based upon what you dress it up with. So let's get started. Now the first thing I wanna say, you can throw all this into a regular shaker and go with it and be done. I'm gonna try and make it look a little prettier and a little more enjoyable. Now, what we're gonna be using today is your standard iced coffee. So basically, if you go back and check out our iced coffee video, it explains how to do the whole thing, but just for the simplicity of time in this video, I'm gonna just say the link for that's down in the description, but you basically make a pot of coffee, let it 100% cool down. Just turn your coffee maker off, let it cool down. Stick this in your fridge overnight, and it'll be ready to go. So, we're gonna use, I don't know, probably eight to 10 ounces of coffee. All right. Now, you can use a powder, zero calorie, creamer like this but because we're already going to be trying to mix in one powder let's not complicate things with two so we're going to be using this coffee mate zero calorie french vanilla creamer now this stuff is 15 calories per two tablespoons we're going to be using a quarter cup all right so there's our creamer now, I'm going to be using the Impact Protein Unflavored by My Protein. Now, if you guys haven't heard of My Protein, they do bulk supplements and bulk like protein bars and different things. I found that it's hard to beat their pricing and their shipping is really fast. So, we're going to put one full scoop of Unflavored. Now, you can put whatever kind you want. I mean, based upon what you like. I overfilled mine as normal. So we're gonna put our lid on here. And you could do this in a spaghetti jar. Like I said, you could do this in a shaker cup. It doesn't matter. So all we're gonna do is shake it, just like you would do in a normal shaker, to get that protein powder mixed in. Generally, you wanna leave a little bit of head space and make it so that it's, you know, swishes around inside there better. But the important part here is this will give me the protein I need for muscle recovery going throughout the day. Because even though I'm doing intermittent fasting, I'm still basically doing something physical all day long. And it's tearing down my body and I need to be getting this protein in every morning regardless. So this is just kind of a way to slip it in, kind of like my body doesn't notice it as much and it doesn't really mess up my intermittent fasting. And with the calories, you can clearly see that it's not bad at all. So. There is your version of iced coffee shake, whatever. Now, obviously, we would put ice cubes in this and the whole nine yards. But we're going to get fancy. Two tablespoons of whipped cream. And that, my friends, is 150 calories done and done. And that's amazing. Now, if you went to some fancy gym or some fancy coffee bar or like a protein smoothie bar, you'd be paying like five to eight bucks for that. You can make that home for pennies. I mean, it costs nothing. So just the thought, something for you coffee drinkers like me, if you're a coffee addict like me, 
Now I do know they sell protein powders that are coffee flavored, but I've yet to find one I really, really enjoy. So this just gives me the best of both worlds. I get my protein in and I also get to have my iced coffee and I get to enjoy. Now that said, it's time for me to drink the rest of this, let you guys go make your own, and then you can go down in the comments and tell me how it turned out for you, what kind of protein powder, because you can use any kind of flavor you want in this. A vanilla would be good, maybe you like that chocolate side to your coffee, maybe you're going to use chocolate protein powder, maybe you're going to use unflavored like me. But make sure you go down, smash that subscribe button. Then you got to go down and hit the like bell and button and the notification bell so you see all of our upcoming videos because there's more to come and many, many, many more yummy ideas I've got that I'm working on right now. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next.